Hello, I'm Stu with S-Tech, and today we're going to show kind of a how to install our new Kiwi belt loops. They're just a little plastic clip that interfaces with the, uh, the Molly Webby. They're originally designed for my short Kiwi pouches. I do not know if they work with other, other maker's pouches. I don't have any other pouches to try them with, so your mileage may vary on those. The reason why I say that is with the Kiwis in there, they're a stiff pouch. You can't really bend or tweak them, so they, they provide a really nice solid interface when this is looped and laced through there. So basically we're just going to show how to install them and show what they're used for. These are the uh, inch and a half to inch and three quarter belt loops. We do make a two inch that's not released yet. They interface with your standard riggers belt. It was made specifically for a double layer with Velcro and all that neat crap. These are the uh, original two belt loops that I had made for myself. We hand make them so that they do take quite a while to make. But I've been wearing this get up here for the last 14, 15 months. And the only thing that's uh, happened to my belt loops is they got a little shiny. They're made to fit onto the rigger's belt and hold it. And they, the reason I came up with this is previously to mount this was a small malice clip. And you had the two big knobby things sticking down on the bottom. The malice clips are great for mounting on conventional stuff. I just, I didn't like those digging into my side when I'd sit down or whatever. So I wanted something that I could make and didn't have these sticking out the bottom. I and mean, you can flip, up, flip them up towards the top, which I do on a lot of my, uh, my bore chest rigs and stuff, but I didn't like that either. So this is what I came up with and it was pretty good. So how to install them, the best way is to remove the kiwi that's on the inside. Now this is a uh, single pistol kiwi, kiwi pouch. What you do is you take the bottom piece of the webbing and just kind of pucker it out so you can slide this in there, push it in and then you kind of go a little bit past it so you can get the webbing down and around the little hook down there. And once you do, cooperate with me. Pull it and you see how it kind of locks itself in there. And then you fold or tweak the pouch down a bit. Let's see if I can to catch the top and then just let the pouch go back to the way it was. And now it's locked in. Now you reinstall the Kiwi. You got a neat little belt clip on there. I'll show. Here's a single M4. Pop the Kiwi out. Pucker the bottom webbing out. Slide it past it. Get in the hook. We'll do two at a time on this one. Same thing. Slide past. Get it in there again. Maybe. Now I'm going to fold down the pouch. I'm going to get both of these in there. I'm going to put the kiwi back. Now you can mount single M4 on a belt. They'll also work with like our doubles and our triples. Same thing with our triple and our quad pistol pouches. On these, you can either you can get away with two belt loops, or you can do four if you want. We're only going to put two on this one. So I remove both kiwis, catch the bottom, catch the top, do the other side. If you run, say, a, a padded war belt that utilizes a rigger belt on the outside of it. And if it's got Velcro on it, you can even 
take some sticky back Velcro and put it on the inside of these so when you put it on, it'll lock and stay put and not move side to side. When this belt cinched down, just like my holster here, the, the pistol pouch or the holster, neither of them move side to side on me. Kiwis back in. Now you got, whoops, I fail. Now you got two belt loops on here. You can even do four if you wanted. I don't see why you would need to. But that just shows that you can use it on bigger pouches. Now like I said before, I'm not sure how well it'll work on other makers pouches. Like I said, I don't I don't have any, so it's kind of you'd have to buy a set. They they come in a two pack. You can get them through SKD. They uh buy two and try them. Like I said, other makers' pouches may be floppier. I mean, they don't have like the kiwi stiffening them up. So when this goes in there, we'll use this pouch as an, an example without a kiwi in it. It may pull down or whatever. So like I said, you're just going to have to buy one and see if it works for you. Now to remove them, it's pretty much the reverse of before. It's easiest to take the kiwi out, get rid of that stiffening backer, fold down the, the back, pop them out. And then what I do on the back here, you can kind of wiggle them and push them and pull the kiwi belt loop straight out. Maybe. Pretty simple. It's kind of a. I like to say these things are so simple they're stupid. I when I first made the first two, I looked around and I couldn't believe that nobody had made this before. They're super simple, but they do the job well, and they're relatively cheap for what we've got to do to hand make, hand bevel, all the various folds and bends on here that we've got to do. They're pretty cheap. I think that's about it. Thanks for looking.